Mad Dog Killer Sun, y'all. I'm going to um, I'm gonna do my best to make it down here for that event, November 14th. Um, salute to salute to ARP, you know what I'm saying? And salute to RBE. They definitely doing their thing. They working, y'all. Yo, real talk. Real talk. Um, y'all got to respect the leagues that's working. That's not in it for, you know, dip they toe in, dip they toe out, try and see if they could get money and, you know, run out. Yo, they working. RBE is working, which I got a lot of respect for. Anyway, um, yo, this blog real quick. Um, I had a couple things I wanted to touch on. You know what I'm saying? And um, the ghostwriting shit. This ghostwriting story, you know, uh, for the average fan, for the, most of the fans that watch battle rap, like I'm talking about in bulk, when you see 100,000 views or 200,000 views or a million, most of those fans, they don't, they don't know about ghostwriting. They don't care about ghostwriting. They don't, they don't, you know, do the whole Twitter shit or the Facebook groups. They, they not aware. They don't know what's going on. They don't care. They just focus on, you know what I'm saying? Um... Who they like, who entertain them the best. Um, the way how this ghostwriting shit came out now, a lot of the next, I don't know, six months to a year of top tier battle rap battles are going to revolve around ghostwriting and what was said, who said it, and how cunning and how funny it's going to be. I talked to some people, you know what I'm saying? Actually, to be honest with you, you know, um, I, I had to text a couple people. I ain't going to say who, but um, I text a couple people. Chris, I'm biased. Nah. <laughs> um, and I was looking for help with this ghostwriting blog because I needed some angles. You know what I'm saying? I needed somebody to give me some angles for my ghostwriting for, for my ghostwriting blog. And I needed them to, you know, help me out. You know, ain't that some shit? If it started getting that crazy where blog is. Need, need angles from other bloggers. Like, I should call up PG bloggers be like, yo, it's Mad Dog. I need some help with with, with this blog. I'm stuck. I, I, I want this as shit to be As far as ghostwriting, in general, I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's cool to do. I don't think it's something... When, when, when it comes to rapping, hip-hop, and rapping, or, or, or rap just in general... <sighs> It's always something that's been frowned upon. If you a singer, if you do R&B and somebody rap, wrote a song for you, that's okay. Michael Jackson had songs written for him. Michael Jackson has written songs for people. You know, um, there's there's some people that have, uh, in hip-hop, in, in rap, that has had songs written for him. You know, we know Puffy has ghostwriters. We know that... Um, Styles P calls itself the ghost. <laughs> I mean, right there. Um, you know, we know that Dre had ghost writers. Um, Will Smith, you know what I'm saying? Nas ghost wrote for some people. It just goes on and on. So, but that's what they're talking about is really ghost writing. Like these dudes wrote whole songs. They wrote whole verses. Um, you know, I used to rap back in the days. Me and you know, my, my nephew and all of that. And we, You know what I'm saying? We'd rap. We'd be in the basement and we'd be dropping some bars. And, you know, you'd have, you know, people down there. And then you say something and they'd be like, nah, 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 nah. You got to take that out. Or you got to take. Yo, there was a couple of things that I have wrote. I rapped it. It sounded all right. But then, like, my nephew rapped it. And it was like, damn, that shit sound dope when you said it. Not only... Did I let him take that bar, them four, six, 16 bars? I let him rock it because it made our song sound better. We in a group, and whatever going to make the group sound better, I want that to rock. And he took like 16 bars from me, and it was like it was hot. Then there was another thing. My daughter took her shit. With, it was like, yo, we was working together for a common goal. And I can understand if you're in a group, sometimes when you're in a group, a group is going to work together so that we could be better. That's one thing. Now, <clears throat> regards to battle rap, the, the parameters, if you will, with battle rap. And I think 
you know, there's a DNA interview where he's yeah. kind of black. Yeah, exactly. I mean, black. listen. How does it go down from, from what you've seen? Not from what I've seen. I mean, okay. from what I've seen is niggas, yo, I'm going to spit this round for you. And the nigga be like, yo, take that out. That line is not good. Mm-hmm. Or i seen a nigga say, yo, you should say it like this. But actually see somebody sit down and, yo, this is your first round. This is your first eight bars. This is your intro. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you battling for? Yeah. Now niggas getting help. Every, every, I don't care what nobody says. Everybody in battle rap gets suggestions and takes advice. If you spit your round for your man and he says, "Yo, I don't like that shit. Take that shit out." You're gonna switch it. So that's all understandable. Mm-hmm. But for a nigga to sit down and handcraft what you about to say in the next three rounds, like, nah, yeah, that's why. Talks about ghostwriting. Um, you know. <sighs> Yo, this is such a sensitive thing. You know, I had a sh- I had a talk with ARP recently on the phone about ghostwriting and you know this situation in particular. And I got a I got a lot of respect for ARP. Um, you know, and first of all, we was on some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? We was talking some real nigga shit, and I feel as though his position um, was. I'm trying to help this situation go away and not damage more people or, or people's careers. Um, Adi Boom is locked up. There's not a whole lot Adi Boom could do from jail. Uh, Danny Myers, you know, whatever. In my opinion, Danny Myers should not have jumped out, jumped, jumped out in front of this like this. In my opinion. Um, Surf, to me, was super aggressive towards Adi Boom, and he should have talked to that man one-on-one. What he actually said, what he didn't say. You know how when you're around your friends and you might say something, like, yo, I just smacked that dude. Where did you smack? Yeah, I smacked him like a few hours ago. And you might not have smacked him. You might have just pushed him. You know what I'm saying? But by the time you tell your friends, you smacked him, head-butted him, and, you know, did a 360 drop kick on that nigga. And... Like, you go to work, and by the time you come back from work later that night, that little bullshit you said, now you might have just pushed him, but that little bullshit you just said done turned into some other shit. You done bust shots at him, you know what I'm saying? Next time you see him, it's, it's green light, you dead on, you know, a whole bunch of shit. And you're like, yo, hold on, hold up. Yo, what, what, what y'all do? And then you not only have to try and fix what you said, there's a whole bunch of other shit that said that may may or may not be true, and I think I think this is what happened with with this whole Sue Surf and um, Adi Boom thing. And while Surf could try and discredit Danny Myers and Adi Boom, he can't really do that with Math. Math is an official nigga. He's been in battle rap for a long time. He is connected. You're not gonna you're not gonna like blackball Math. So, and Mav could say shit because he want to battle Surf, and Surf understands that game. So, you're not really going to, plus he's going to see Mav in the same, Mav and Surf be in the same places. So, you're not really going to come at Mav and get all super aggressive. So, Mav can pretty much say what he want. Mav can say, yo, you go, you got to go try that. Now, shot to ARP, you know, I feel what he was trying to do. He was trying to make sure that these dudes understood what they was doing. And from what I could get, you know, and I'm not trying to say I know more than what I know from what I could get, it seems like he did a good job de-escalating the situation between all the parties, which I think is a good, which I think is a good look for battle rap. Because we really don't want there to be tensions. Like to me, um, to me, ghostwriting is uh, ghostwriting in, in ghostwriting in battle rap is similar to calling somebody a snitch in the street. So, like, if somebody call you a snitch in the street when you see them and you with your crew, they could be problems. They they actually should be problems. And if somebody call you a ghostwriter in battle rap, when we see each other, they're gonna be problems. And that's how it was. It was kind of it was getting to that level. Surf is incredibly talented. We know there's a lot more that goes into battle rap than just bars. 
You got to perform it. You got to say it. You got to have a cadence to it. You got to have a certain swag to it. So even if Ali was a ghostwriter for Surf, you still got to... You still got to be like a personality on stage where people want to see you. And Surf has that it factor. Even if Adi Boom wrote for other people, it doesn't mean that he's going to turn like five other people into a Sue Surf. <sighs> All right. So I just wanted to sort of throw that kind of stuff I out I guess here. the key to this blog is what is ghostwriting? Um, you know, what is ghostwriting, my dudes? I think, I think if I write, if I write a scheme or I write four bars and I give it to you and you see how that four bar or that scheme is designed and you say, no, no, nigga, we're going to revamp this whole thing. It's still your idea, but we're going to revamp this thing and we're going to do it this way. And when you do it this way, it actually hits and sounds better than the way how you did it. You know what I'm saying? To me, I wouldn't necessarily say that's ghostwriting. And I think that's where people is getting this all twisted. Because to me, ghostwriting is like somebody writes like a whole round for you. Or somebody writes all your rounds for you. That's where I think ghostwriting, that's like the legit ghostwriting in my book. Somebody writes a whole round or a whole... um. 16, well, I shouldn't say, a whole round, a whole 16 bars set up for you. They write the whole thing from scratch. You need help, they write your whole 16 bars from scratch, a whole round, or your whole battle. They write the whole thing. To me, that's ghostwriting. That is ghostwriting. Um, if somebody rearranges a couple bars, rearranges a scheme, um, helps you get get your whole round together from beginning to end. I don't know if I'm going to call that ghostwriting, but I don't think it should be I don't think it should be accepted either. Like if somebody is shuffling and helping you write everything that you do, it's one thing if they hear one thing that sounds crazy or they just say, hey, move this and put that there or whatever. Or, I think this sounds better. All right, now you work. And then they, all right, you flowing now? All right, you stuck on one thing and just stay. All right, move this, shuffle that. That's acceptable. But when, when, when you say, hey, this whole 16 is fucked up and you give it to them and they redo it, rewrite it and give it back to you, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say that's ghostwriting, but that's that's something. That's some, you know, that's some bullshit in a way to me. Like, I think DNA said it best. Like, why are you why are you battling? If why are you battling? If if you got to have someone help you through your whole shit. And I'm not saying Surf has a ghostwriter. I'm not saying Adi Boom is his ghostwriter. I'm not saying that there's any validity to it. I'm not, um, uh, I, you know, I, I think Danny believe what he was saying is possible. What Danny was saying is true. It's possible. It may not be true. Um, I know a lot of people's, I know Body Boom is denying it. You know, shout out to Marty with the flow. I know that she, you know, she got some information that, you know, Boom was denying being a ghostwriter. And I know people's careers is on the line. Their credibility is on the line. So, um, so I'm going to end it with this. I'm just going to say it real, just straight up. That's Mad Dog. You know what I'm saying? This whole blog, this whole blog was my angles. You understand what I'm saying? I may talk to people. I may holler at them and find out something. But I use all these angles myself, you know. Um. You know, damn, imagine the day when bloggers has to, um, when bloggers need to get angles or need help with a blog. And then we have ghost bloggers, ghost bloggers. Anyway, ghost writing is definitely not cool in battle rap. It's a test of your pen and your skill. Like, could you imagine if somebody found out that Chilla 
had a Ghost Rider, like you wouldn't believe it, right? Chilla's pen is so damn nice. Somebody to be for so somebody to be a Ghost Rider to Chilla, they'd have to be better than him. And like to me, with the way Chilla writes, nobody is better at what Chilla does. So you're just not gonna believe he has a Ghost Rider. Whereas Suit Surf, you say, damn, this nigga made a couple of jumps real quick. Is it possible? It makes you think, you know. Um, you know, he was on, shout out to Caps and, you know, and Angry Fan Movement. Um, they've been working hard. They've been dropping them videos. Check them out. But, um, it's almost like if Sue Surf is one of them dudes that just don't want you to talk. He has so much that he wants to say and he cuts you off. <sighs> you know, and it's like basketball, nigga. I love what he does that shit. Yo, it's like basketball. <laughs> anyway. Alright. Um... All I'm going to say is this, being that now this ghostwriting is either ghostwriting or crews helping you is sort of out there, I think people are going to be a lot more cautious, and I think that's what's going on. <clears throat> Before, there was no rules, right? This battle rap shit was starting out. There was kind of no rules to it. Imagine you playing a game, nobody has any rules. You're playing street basketball, there's no rules. Then shit start getting more competition, getting more better. People start getting paid. Now, some of the stuff that people was doing as it was getting better is now being watched closer. Now, it's kind of like, yo, you can do this, but you can't do this. You can do this, but you can't do that. And now, it's almost like people are being put on notice. You're being put on notice. Yo, all right, niggas. And I think this is what it is with everybody in Battle Rap, including the top tiers. This might have been cool before, but it's not cool now. You might have been able to get away with this before, but don't do it no more. Because people is aware. You, you're talking about it now. People is aware of everything you're doing now. And guess what? Sooner or later, the truth will come out. All right? So I think if I was Surf, if I was Adi Boomer, yeah, we did some shit. But we didn't know it was wrong. Now people saying it's wrong? All right. We hear you. And again, I'm going to say it again. Shout out to ARP for being like a real, a real nigga and, and, and stepping to the plate because he has a personal relationship with a lot of these dudes. And um, there's a lot of people that would want to see this shit blow up even bigger. Where this stuff could lead to, how it could grow, and then end up having something bad happen to, let's just say, these are stars in battle rap. Sue Surf is a star. Danny Myers is a star. Adi Boom was a rising star. These is these is key cornerstones of battle rap that we're talking about. Leave a comment in the description box. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know what your opinion is on ghostwriting. I want to know when when do you feel ghostwriting starts and ends? Where, where do you feel? Do you feel is a something in between ghostwriting? And writing your like writing your own shit and ghostwriting. Is it something in between? Is it is it, what is that called? Where, where you get coaching? Is it called coaching? You know what I'm saying? It, is it coaching in between your own bars with no help? Coaching and then ghostwriting? Like well, I'ma call it coaching. Coach writing. I don't know. You know, and then how, exactly when does it turn into ghostwriting? When somebody writes one bar that you didn't have nothing to do with, is that ghostwriting? When somebody rearranges an entire verse or an entire 16 or entire four bars that you did and gives you something hot, is that ghostwriting? I don't know. Yo, leave a comment. Let me know, man. Um, this is Mad Dog. We may have to talk about this some more. Holla at your boy. <laughs> Wordplay, nigga, my one take is to be played.